on the other side of the world, Africa and Asia. And if you go over there someday, you go looking for a cobra, I'll bet you money right now you don't see one. Because when they see you coming, it's, check please, they're gone. They go hide in the ground. But hey, let's just say that you're crazy. Jump in front of a cobra, start kicking and poking at them. If they feel trapped, well, they don't want to bite you either. Because you're bigger than them, you might bite them back. So instead, cobras act tough. They stand up in the air. They spread their skin out on their necks. What's the skin on the neck called? A hood. And when they make their hood, they're just bluffing you. They're going, come on, I'll fight. Let's go right now. But no, they don't want to fight. Fighting is dangerous. So keep poking. The mouth opens. When you see that happen, back off. They're asking you one last time, leave me alone please. Because if you poke after that, then they bite you and they don't let go. Cobras chew on you for 10 seconds or more because they have short fangs. And when they let go of you, you will feel fine. For many cobra species, you can feel perfectly normal. An hour or two can go by and you start thinking, I'm okay. But then strange things happen. You might start getting dizzy. And then your speech will get slurred, and your eyelids will get droopy. And then you might start breathing funny. And then your eyes are going to close. It's called a coma. A few minutes later, your heart goes ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. You stop breathing. Your heart quivers, and you die peacefully in your sleep. It paralyzes you. It's called neurotoxic venom, and it's not a bad way to go. Now, this is a king cobra. They've killed elephants with their bites. He's not a big one yet. He's young, still growing, but I'm pretty sure you'll see it. Let's give it a He's only 12 feet. They get to be 18 or 20 feet. He can stand up this high if he wanted to. Come on, he's being lazy. Come on. Show him what you got. Come on, big scary cobra. Oh, come on. Stand up. Come on. Stand up. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I can't even get him to open his mouth. Open your mouth. Come on. Show me your fangs. No, he doesn't want to fight. Come here. Stand up. Come on. Come on. Now uh, the mighty king is a coward. He just wants to go hide. He can't get him to do anything. He doesn't want to fight. He's a good move now. See, he looks like ordinary snake now. He lost his hood. Can't even tell he's a cobra. Oh, they only eat other snakes. In fact, when we get a king cobra in, we have to put snake blood on a rat to get them to eat the rats. Yeah. And, uh, oh, if you have a snake that eats rats, only feed it dead rats or mice. Don't feed live ones. Live ones can bite and injure your snake, so just buy them frozen like we do. Just make sure they're thawed out all the way before you feed them to your snake. And use warm water. Don't stick them in the microwave. The feet explode and it smells up the house. I tried it once. It didn't work. So. <laughs> Friendly advice. Okay. Um, well, he just wants to go back in his box, so we'll let him go hide. He, he doesn't want to fight. So. Okay.